हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फर्स्ट मॉडल ऑफ रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ आइटम्स हुज एफिशिएंसी डेटोरेट्स ग्रेजुअली मींस हुज एफिशिएंसी डिक्रीजेस एज द लाइफ ऑफ एन आइटम इंक्रीजेस फ्रेंड्स आई हैड प्रोवाइडेड लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इन व्हिच यू विल फाइंड ऑल द वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक in both english as well as in hindi now the model 1 is replacement policy for items whose running cost increases with time and value of money remains constant means we have to find out the replacement policy for items whose running cost increases in running cost maintenance cost and operating cost are included and value of money remains constant now the value of money is the quantity of goods that you can exchange for one unit of money okay simply value of money means purchasing capacity of money okay first of all i will discuss what type of questions are being asked in the examination related to this model first you will be asked discuss the problem of a replacement policy for items whose running cost increases with time and value of money remains constant okay or you will be asked find the best replacement age or time of a machine when its maintenance co maintenance cost is given by a function increasing with time means the maintenance cost increases with time its scrap value is constant now scrap value scrap value is the value of asset after it has come to the end of its useful life okay i will give you a fine example of scrap value let us assume you buy a car for 20000 dollars okay and you believe the car could last for 15 years now after 15 years the car is prob probably run into the ground okay and its next stop is junkyard now the scrap value of the car is the price a junkyard or recycler okay a junkyard or recycler might pay you for the old non working car okay now you got it what is scrap value scrap value is just the value of an item after it has been completely used okay it has no use and the last one is the money value is not considered means the money value is considered to be a constant now this question most of the time is being asked in the examination and sometime this theorem is being asked and you have to just prove this theorem now the theorem is the cost of maintenance of machine is given as a function increasing with time okay whose scrap value is constant we are assuming the maintenance cost of machine is increasing with time and scrap value is constant now the first one is if time is measured in continuous unit when we measure time in a continuous unit then the average cost will be minimized by replacing the machine in this case average cost will be minimized by replacing the machine now when we will replace the machine when the average cost till date become equal to the current maintenance cost okay the second one is if time is measured in discrete units now if we measure time in a discrete unit discrete means discontinuous units then the average annual cost will be minimized by replacing the machine in this case we will minimize the average annual cost by replacing the machine now when we will replace the machine when the next period's maintenance cost become greater than the current average cost it means that when the when the maintenance cost for the year 2021 okay when the maintenance cost for the year 2021 become greater become 
greater than the current average cost means average cost of 2020 okay then you will replace the machine and in this case you will minimize the average annual cost okay now let us prove this theorem now in this theorem our main aim is to determine the optimal replacement age or time of equipment whose running cost increases with time and the value of money remains constant okay now let us denote c is equal to capital cost of new equipment or simply we can say that purchase cost of equipment s denotes scrap value of equipment at the end of two years okay rt denotes the running cost of equipment for the year t okay and n replacement age of the equipment or simply you can say that number of years that equipment would be used okay now a part when time t is a continuous variable let us take t as continuous variable okay now if the equipment or machine is used for t years okay then the total cost incurred over this period is given by now let us suppose that a machine or an equipment is used for t years in this case the total cost incurred over the machine on the machine over this period is given as capital cost simply means purchasing cost okay the cost of machine which we have purchased minus scrap value at the end of t years okay plus running cost for the years now capital cost c scrap value is s plus since we have assumed that t is a continuous variable so whenever the time is continuous or any other function is continuous we take integral okay so here t is continuous so we taking integral and to sorry 0 to n years rt dt now the average cost per unit time incurred over the period of n years will be total cost divided by n years okay so average total cost for n years is equal to total cost this divided by n okay and let us take this equation number one now to obtain the optimal value for which average total cost for n years is minimum we differentiate total sorry average total cost with respect to n and set the first derivative equal to zero then we will get the minimum value for average total cost so for minimum average total cost we must have this equal to zero okay so i had differentiated this one so differentiating first so as i separated these terms dn into 1 upon n into this term is equal to 0 now applying the chain rules of u into v okay here u is 1 by n in first term and v is c minus s okay now the rule is first that is u as it is differentiation of second differentiation of this since this the, the differentiation of c minus s is zero because this is a constant term so the first term will be zero okay then this as it is differentiation of first okay now the differentiation of one by n is minus one upon n square so this will become c minus s minus one by n square okay similarly here u is equal to one upon n okay and v is equal to integral 0 to n rt okay now first as it is that is 1 upon n as it is integration of this one okay now the integration and differentiation will get cancelled okay and i will put value of n here okay so i will get 1 by n rn rn by n okay now 
after that this will be as it is okay and differentiation of this that is minus 1 upon n square so it will be equal to 0 okay now after shifting these two term to the right hand side okay I will get this one and then cancelling n and n square okay here there are two terms of n here it is 1 so one term and one term get cancelled and I will left with 1 by n now rn is equal to 1 upon n c minus s plus integral 0 to n rt dt okay this is equation number 2 and now this is equal to average total cost for n years from equation number 1 okay so from equation number 2 I get the replacement policy replace the equipment I can replace equipment when the average annual cost for n years when average annual cost for n years becomes equal to running cost annual running cost or current running cost okay this is the replacement policy when I considered the time t as a continuous variable okay now second part let us take t as a discrete variable okay <clears throat> so the average cost incurred over the period n is given by as in the previous step we find out average total cost for n years now since in the previous part the time was continuous variable so we take integral now in this part we had considered that time t is discrete variable so we will take submission whenever the time is discrete or any other function any variable is discrete we take submission okay submission is made for discrete variables and integral is made for continuous variables okay so the average total cost for n years will become this okay here t is 1 to n rt and whole divided by n now if c minus s is assumed to be monotonically decreasing okay now what is meant by monotonically decreasing monotonically decreasing means if the next term is smaller than previous term okay for example 5 plus 4 plus 3 and so on okay now this is the example of monotonically decreasing series okay here the second term okay the next term is less than previous term okay so and uh, monotonically increasing if we take this one as monotonically increasing it means that if next term is greater than previous term 1 2 3 and so on this is the example of monotonically increasing the next term is greater than previous term okay so let us take c minus s as monotonically decreasing and this term as monotonically increasing then there will exist a value of n for which average total cost for n years will be minimum okay so thus we can have since average total cost is minimum so average total cost for n minus 1 years will be greater than this because we had taken this as minimum okay also average total cost for n plus 1 years will be greater than this one now while taking these two terms shifting this to the left hand side I will get average total cost for n minus 1 years minus average total cost for n years greater than 0 okay now taking these two terms I will get average total cost for n plus 1 years minus after shifting this to the right hand side I will get minus average total cost for n years greater than 0 okay now let us take average total cost for n plus 1 years okay so here I had taken for n years I will get this term now when I take for n plus 1 years I will get n plus 1 here and n plus 1 here okay so this is the average total cost for n plus 1 years now I will separate the term I will take summation from n to t goes to 1 to n and n plus 1 I will separate n plus 1th term so I had written here r into n plus 1th term okay after that I will separate this term okay and this term I will divide n plus 1 by this term and this 
now sorry i will not divide i will just multiply this inside okay now i will get 1 upon n plus 1 into this term plus r into n plus 1 into this term okay after that i will multiply and divide by n to this term multiply and divided by n okay now from equation number 3 we see that this term is equal to average total cost for n years so here if we see that this term and this term is same so i can write this equal to average total cost for n years okay and these two terms are same now average total cost for n plus 1 years minus average total cost for n, year, n years because from this equation we see that these two terms are greater than 0 so i will take these two terms okay now average total cost for n plus 1 years is these two terms okay and minus average total cost for n years okay here i will take this term here and then i will take average total cost for n years common from these two terms i will get n into n plus 1 inside here minus 1 okay now after simplifying this i will get n plus 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 okay so since these terms are greater than 0 it means that these two terms will also be greater than 0 because these terms are equal to these terms okay so i had taken these two terms greater than 0 implies that after shifting this term to the right hand side i will get the result now n plus 1 and n plus 1 will get cancelled and i will left with r into n plus 1 strictly greater than average total cost for n years okay similarly i will derive the result for the second equation now average total cost for n plus 1 years minus average total cost for n years is greater than 0 here this one is positive and this is negative as in the above now when i take this equation i got i get that r into n plus 1 okay when i get this equation i get r into n plus 1 this one greater than average total cost for n years okay similarly i will get this one greater than this term okay so running cost for n years will be strictly less than average total cost for n minus 1 years okay now we got these two result the first one is this and second one is this okay so this will provide the following replacement policy now from first i got that if the running cost for next year that is n plus 1 years is more than average total cost for nth year in this case it is economical it is profitable to replace at the end of n years here the running cost is greater than the next year okay so it is economical it is profitable to replace the item at the end of n year okay that is this one i had put the value of average total cost for n years here okay now from the second equation from this i got that if the present years that is if the running cost for nth year is less than the previous year okay then sorry if the running cost for present year is strictly less than average total cost for previous year that is n minus one -th year then we do not replace the item because the present average sorry the present running cost the present maintenance cost of machine is less than the previous average total cost okay so it is profitable do not replace the item okay so i had written here running cost for nth year is strictly less than one upon n minus n that is average total cost for n minus one years this one okay this completes the proof and we derive the policy for the item whose running cost increases with time and value of money remains constant so friends if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching